So why are we killing these dudes? I know your character is stuck, but why else? Uh, because the Eldritch God Sword that we're wielding told us to? Really? No secret treasure room there. Honestly, the uh, this game's plot is one of those where it's like super vague and uh, not exactly well defined. I don't know if it'll ever will be or not. There are like uh, some lore stones that we've come across that hopefully uh, kind of elucidate manners, matters, but we've got to wait some time before that happens. And yeah, what will I corrupt next? That's an interesting question. I don't know. Guess we might as well break all of these. Yeah, I'm not wounded. But the small amount of shards helps. Just because. Let's see. We'll ever do a Copper to Moon Lord playthrough of Terraria. I've already done like two, se two, two and a half seasons of Terraria. None of them have ever succeeded. It's not a bad game. It's just one of those that it's so time consuming for like what's necessary. Damn it, should have dashed. What the? Okay, that did some weird stuff. Okay. Gotta worry about that. At least we can destroy projectiles, which helps. And he summons random goons, including himself, which is concerning. Dying, dying again. This guy, well, we've done a lot of damage to him. Damn it. There's like that little bit of a gap there, which has me super concerned. There it goes! Alright, so we got Bullet Transfabricator. Tier 2. Neat! And we also got the Elder Shard. Well, that was quick. Yeah, just a little bit of, uh, I guess, forewarning, forearming. Comboed with the uh, ability to heal myself a little bit during combat. Comboed with the ability to reflect projectiles. Made that a lot easier. Okay, well, back to the exploration side of things. Well, or I'm just going to get stuck here because I can't seem to climb and hit my enemies. And Oh, good. This hole is not nearly as problematic as I thought it was going to be. Okay, might as well heal up over here. There we go. Life is good. Let's get out of this little infinite mini boss chamber. Which I might actually be able to farm, but let's not do that. There we go. Whoops. I'm still not quite used to air dashing yet. That is something that's going to take some time to uh, get used to. I get a lot. Uh, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. The problem is everywhere that I want to be is actually above me. By like a huge margin. Yeah, let's just return to this sanctuary. I don't really feel like doing anything up here. Yeah, because I don't I don't want to have to like kind of climb out of that hole. It's easier it's easier for me to just go back. Get that damage bonus. And have a good time. Okay, so that just boosted my damage by a lot. Okay, so I got 2,000 left. I guess we probably want to go to the right here. Because the extra crit chance would be nice. And the extra health elixirs would be super nice. Oh, that's okay. So we're just gonna we're just gonna keep playing uh, 
Sundered for a lot of tonight. I, I want to get as far as I possibly can. This is one of those games where... Um, this is one of those games where uh, it's it's a solid game, but it's got some like issues with it. I think those issues are large enough that it makes um, it makes uh, like people kind of not want to watch. I don't know. I I was looking at a Super Bunny Hop review of this game yesterday, and he was kind of being hard on it. And to be fair, a lot of his critiques were like fairly fairly on point. Like this game has issues. Um, I guess for me, it always bugs me a little bit how we get these, like, really good games that people kind of rip to shreds because they need work. Uh, like, a lot of people were, like, kind of shitting on Jotun, and I was like, I mean, like, yeah, Jotun was an inherently flawed product-ish, but it was still good. Um, and this one is, like, a legitimately good product if, you know, flaws here and there, as opposed, as opposed to, like, some more, like, very definitively flawed products that just kind of, uh fly under the radar. Like, uh, people freaking loved my playthrough of, uh, of Magicite, and that game was awful. Like, across the board, bad. I guess it always bothers me a little bit from, like, a, you know, a content creator slash, like, game coverage person, where, like, you see a game that really is undeserving of, uh, of hype get tons of it, and then games that actually, like, have a fair amount of, like, effort into them get kind of panned because it's, it's not good enough. It's like, what you, still better than like, I don't know, Hello Neighbor, maybe. I actually have not played Hello Neighbor. It is like so not my thing. I have no idea. I don't even know what the game entails. First I ever saw of it was the uh, trailer at E3. Which I can fairly safely say is not the, uh, is not the uh, best place to uh, find out, like, exactly what that game is. I think that's just going to be one of those games that's so early access that, uh, it's not even, like, a full game. Maybe part of the reason why I, I, I think I'm so, like, forgiving of this game is the freaking, the bosses are so incredibly well done that it's, it bugs me a little bit that they don't quite get the recognition for that. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I'm playing this game specifically, not because, like, the combat is top tier or, uh, or the mini-bosses are that amazing, but, like, the freaking Dominion was amazing. And I, like, I want to do that again. Because Dominion was, like, an incredible fight. Kicked my ass, but, uh, that, that, like, alone kind of has made this playthrough worth it. But yeah, so my hope is to finish as much of this as possible before, like, everything dries up. Because I always find with, uh, with games that, like, don't do the greatest, there's, like, a weird half-life. Like, people will be, like, super interested, and then it'll just, like, disappear. I remember when I started, uh, covering No Man's Sky, uh, about a year ago. Um, I got, like, tons of viewers, like, well over a hundred constantly. It was, like, super positive. And then the, like, actual reviews came out, and it's like, oh, this game's garbage. And then it's just, it was gone. I guess it makes sense. People are there for the curiosity of whether or not this this product is good, so it kind of makes sense. But it develop, uh, I develop weird neuroses when these happen. Because I'm sitting there being like, what happened? And it's, you know, it's a classic case of it's not, uh, it's not you, it's... No Man's Sky, it's not you, it's Mass Effect Andromeda, it's not you, it's Sundered. Um, but I, I always have the hardest time detaching myself from that, that perspective. Okay, I think, let's go down into the, uh, let's go down into the right. Or, let's do this. I should have no, no trouble clearing this now, my damage is awesome. Unless we get a Dia, De uh, a Lith Devourer, at which point we're in trouble. But, like, my damage is awesome. And we already have a health... Health upgrade. Which helps a lot. Ah, yep. Yep. 
Yeah, if we can kill the, uh... If we can kill the little guys, the Dia Devours, this gets a lot easier. Because the Lith, the Lith Devourer is dangerous, but on his own, when I actually have some room to maneuver, kind of chump change. Just got to remember to dodge. Yeah, you can even get through my shields. All right, what do we get? Please be a perk up upgrade. Yes. Wait, is that a level three? Tough skin, level three. Nice. I don't use tough skin. I could. But it mean the main reason why I'm happy about that is it means I can get up to a level three perk. Apparently the only thing really interesting about Hello Neighbor is the fact that the AI lines. See, that's actually, that's cool. Still doesn't really sell me on the game that much. But that is cool. Maybe I'll play that when I'm like, when it's actually out. But even then, I'm in, ah, okay. I was afraid that I was like in this kind of weird uh, dead end zone. This game's pretty good at n never giving you a dead end, which I really appreciate. Could happen. I don't know. There's got to be like a one in a million where the uh, level design actually destroys itself. I assume the reason why it takes so long to load is it's actually simulating whether or not the character, uh, the player, can actually, you know, run through it. Okay, so I've got a whole slew of, uh... I've got a whole slew of shards. Eh. I mean, at this point, I can fairly reasonably fight between the, uh, the lack of fear of projectiles. And a n number of other things. Okay. They are getting hurtier. I guess we have to worry about these guys. Yeah, if I can kill the cultists, this gets easier. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go back up. Not here. Over to the right? Over to the right a little bit. I'd swear there was a uh, health pickup, like, right here. Nope. Well, I guess we'll just deal with it. If I die, I die. It's fine. We afford a new upgrade. Nice part is the money is great. I don't know where all these shards came from, which is confusing. Nothing there. Okay, there's a whole slew of Dia crawlers. I like it how uh, Dia Crawlers specifically can't deal with the fact they can't deal with the fact that they're on like corners sometimes. They just freak out for completely unknown reasons. Okay, dude. Oh, we want to go. We want to go this way. Actually, we should probably panic and run. I said should. Am I going to? Probably. I could probably deal with it. As long as we don't have... Oh. Oh. Hello, welcome to Concernsville. Population, me. Okay. We gotta get this shortcut down. Uh, 
Okay, got it. Death. Death can come. Death would be acceptable. I'm just happy that I... Where am I in this process? Ah! We lived. So far. Still on Dead Man's Alley. Okay. Lith devours scary pants. Gonna wait until my, um... Gonna wait until my shit comes back. Oh, man. That was, um... A trial. Well, let's check out the alcove of grief. Seeing as we just sprinted through it. Like an insane person. Do we have... We're looking for the... Ah, there you are. Do we have... Where's... Is that it? His name is Emmett. Ah. No? The coward was once a regular man. See the pain he has caused in this alcove of grief. Emmett Nelson fell into hysteria. Yeah, it looks like that's the extent of it. Okay. Well, one way or another, we got the shortcut that we needed. So that helps. There's an area up above, actually, now that I'm looking at it. That probably leads to the boss. Let's head back into the left, I think. See, did I manage to defeat uh, Dominion? Yep, defeated Dominion, barely. Actually, he was a fairly easy win today. I think I just needed to wake up a little, which was nice. Oh, didn't realize we had another healing charge. Okay. Endless hordes. Okay, biggest problem here I see is endless cultists. But that's okay. Okay, high density bullets. Okay. This is interesting. I don't really feel like fighting these guys. But I it's kind of one of those situations where kill or be killed, but mainly kill so I can farm for some stuff. Cuz at this point, I can't be set back, so I might as well accept an, any and every bit of shard that I can. I'm out of ammo. Did not realize I had run out of ammo in this situ situation. so many devourers but they're worth a lot I should probably break these just in case we get something cool the answer is no oh, let's kill the cultist if I can the cultist is gone I feel mildly cheated nope oh, there he is yeah, mainly I just know getting out of here is going to be a giant pain in the ass.
and like even if I wanted to, it's probably more reasonable for me to just uh, fight until I die here. Because yeah, it was easy getting down in. But we've got uh, cultists aplenty. And so if I can just get whatever amount of shards I have available, and we're dead. There we go. You're sad now you wanted to watch it. Well, I mean, honestly, uh, it's going on YouTube. Also, you can watch it along the way. What about the true final boss is my own damn sword? Oh, probably. Or even us. Like, I bet we have to fight ourselves like a, a possessed version. I don't know. Things in the cloaks remind you of Skeksis. Huh. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, so we get crit chance. That's useful. What's this down here? That's healing proficiency. Oh. Increase your luck by 25%. What's this one again? Propulsion engine. I gotcha. It's crit damage, maximum energy, faster energy regeneration. Wait, I thought I already got one of these. Oh. I'm a dumb. I never actually bought this. Well, now I have. Okay, so that'll... Yeah, this will be health elixir. Damage is up. I really like this skill tree. It reminds me of Path of Exile in a very good way. I'm still on the wall on whether or not I want to play through uh, Path of Exile for its new uh, expansion. They gave me a key for the Xbox version, which is ultimately kind of pointless, but um, still kind of tempting to play through it anyway, because the, the new change looks amazing. Oh, check the level 3 thick skin. You're correct. I think it's just a... Um, I think it just increases my armor by a bunch. Can take a look, though. Okay, so what do we got? Nemesis. Bosses, mini-bosses, and lith enemies drop 50% more shards. But they're 40% stronger. No. Bullet Transfabricator. Ammo regenerates every 15 seconds, but reduces your melee damage by 35%. Tough Skin. Armor by 14. High Density Bullets. Increases cannon damage by 20%. These would be neat, but they're kind of expensive, so I'm not gonna muck around. Actually... I still, okay, I still have my perks. Let's see, have I fought a proper boss yet? Yes, Dominion, I fought at the very beginning of this session, and then we fought a whole bunch of mini-bosses. Okay, so I think I'm going to run straight to the left. Well, sort of, we got to go down and then to the left. Because we want to get through that door. There's one more mini-boss lurking around here somewhere. I don't know where they are. But I wanna... I wanna kill him. And the other option is, before I even fight the, uh, the boss of this zone, we could actually go to the, uh, the complete other area. Don't know if that's actually... Worth it. Oh, question. How many crystal rooms have I been through? Oh. Oh, it's grayed out, meaning I haven't been through that one yet. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go back through that this crystal room too. That we just went through. Sort of. We went through the corner of it. Unfortunately they don't connect, which sucks. For unknown reasons. Um, but we got to go through there to learn the lore. Because I think the lore is, uh, the lore teaches us about each boss. So this is Emmett Nelson is going to be the, uh, the boss in this area. Probably? Some kind of corrupted Valkyrie system situation? I don't know. I guess you can actually as ascend in this, this giant ch chamber. Not that I want to. Seems like it would take uh, some time and some effort that I don't feel like putting forth the effort for. Yeah, I think one of the this game's main saving graces actually is the up is the upgrade system. Huh. 
Well, that devourer did not end up in a, the correct spot in the slightest, but that's okay. But yeah, I, I really like the uh, skill tree system, even if a lot of it is just a whole slew of passives. A lot. Even if it's like still kind of just a giant slew of passives, they all feel good and they kind of work together well. And they're noticeable. Um, I don't know how many of you guys saw my videos on Immortal Planet. Wonderful game, but the upgrades never felt like they really changed much. I like, I like games where you start weak and shitty, and by the end of it, you've got like a massive health bar and you can tank hits like a crazy, crazy person. Of course, bosses become... I think I've actually run into some kind of weird speedrun strat. If you can roll off of a platform... If you can roll off of a platform into, um, into a glide, you actually glide real freaking fast. Which is cool. Eventually, you will face the lore monster, Vadi Vidya. Does he still do a lot of, like, Dark Souls videos? Unfortunately, I feel like, uh, the Souls series have kind of... The Souls series have kind of dried up on YouTube, save for, like, a couple of speedrunners, and that's it. Let's see if I finished Immortal Planet. Nope! Technically, I'm out of footage for it. I don't know if I'm gonna play more... Uh, like, I don't know when I'm gonna be playing more of it. Oh. Well, this kind of worked out. Taking some damage here, but gives me a good opportunity to heal. Assuming I don't get knocked into those plants. Alternatively, death. Death could happen. Wow. I got crushed. But yeah, I don't know. I've always liked the Souls games and Souls likes, but whenever uh, whenever I cover them, the reception is surprisingly tepid. I guess it's actually true of a lot of like really popular games. I I, I assume uh, the main reasoning is most people want to play it themselves, which actually makes perfect sense. Ow! Yeah, I should have just run away. So, like, uh, I guess Persona 5 has kind of been doing okay this entire time. Um, but, you know, the Souls games are so revered, practically. But I find, like, trying to, trying to actually make a series off of it uh, is kind of a bad idea for, like, for YouTubers. The only reason why I do it is just because it's enjoyable. Let's see, did I? Yeah, I went too far. I do hope they, uh, the, uh, I guess From Software keeps kind of putting out souls like he games. Because, uh, I like the imitations. They're charming and they're getting there. But they're still not there yet. Also, can't wait until Bird gets a goddamn PS4 so we can play, uh, so we can play Bloodborne finally. Because I tried playing Bloodborne uh, on release and I just couldn't get into it. But now that I've played Dark Souls 3, I think I'm, I've am i been eased in a bit better. I still would prefer to play those games co-op because I'm a, a cheesy person. Okay, so let's actually go up here. Let's try and take an alternate route through the uh, perk chamber. Because if I can... Uh, if I can go up. Okay, there we go. If I can go up, maybe we can uh, go through the perk chamber and have less enemies spawn. Ugh. I don't know why, but sometimes I will just fall straight through platforms. It's confusing. Let's see, will it be three player? Yes, it will be three player Bloodborne. I liked uh, Dark Souls with just Bird because it was kind of fun and goofy. Um, but I, I always feel a bit bad for leaving Keith out of that, seeing as he was the, the true Souls guy of our 
of our group. I guess we actually left him out of uh, Dark Souls 2 as well. I think that was just a period of time where Keith was like stupid busy and I wanted nothing to do with people. This The beginning of this year was kind of rough for like a whole bunch of reasons. Let's see. So we are going the right way. I'm just gonna keep booking it. Let's see. So that's that's just a Dia crawler. I keep uh, depending on like what region you're in, uh, some of the crawlers kind of take on like an orangey hue, and it's um, perturbing. But as far as I can tell, it's just it's just the lighting. Which I do appreciate. I, I like the fact that the enemies are... Oh. Uh, let's take a look at this. Sure. This is going to be messy. So another one... Uh, another 2D Souls-like called... Uh, Dark Devotion that I might want to look into. Okay. Unfortunately, I... Okay, there we go. Here, let's... Get a... Jesus. Not this bastard again. Yeah, we gotta take out the flyers first. Ow. Let's heal twice. Ow. Motherfucker. That was awful. Yeah, I don't think I've looked into Dark Devotion yet. I should take a look at it. I Unfortunately, there's so many souls likes, and unfortunately, every time I try and cover them, uh, everybody's just like, I don't feel like watching it. I'm like, no, but it's a good game. Yeah, that freaking... That Lith Devourer is brutal shit. Okay, so we need 4,000 to get the extra health elixir capacity. It's totally worth it, but still. But yeah, here, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna write it down. Unfortunately, uh, the main, the main other problem I have is, uh... I've got like a billion games coming out. Technically yesterday, uh, Galaxy of Pen and Paper came out. Which I had toyed with the idea of playing, because I had played uh, some of their previous games. But honestly, they're just really long and kind of slow. They're more fun play games than anything else. Maybe we'll do like a one-off or something. Uh, but even then, hard to say. But like Sundered Immortal Planet. Uh, Redeemer, the embargo for that drops tomorrow, so I gotta get a video out for that. Uh, Aztez, which is uh, August 1st. Hollow Knight DLC. Uh... <laughs> Shit, I can keep going. Let's see. Hollow Knight DLC, Path of Exile, Expansion, Robot Named Fight, Greedy Guns, Dark Devotion. Uh, there's another game that somebody pointed my direction earlier today, and it's just like, how do I find time for all of these? And the answer is I don't. I usually have to, like, either axe things or... Uh, I either have to, like, axe things or just... I don't know, s struggle bug it. Because we also had Pyre that came out a couple of days ago, which is amazing. Got to find some more time to record that one, because that, that one's good. Then I guess there's just like finishing some other things off because like there's still there's still Persona 5. There's always Persona 5. Save Galaxy for a lazy day stream. The problem is like lazy day streams don't exist. Lazy day streams are just result in stress stressful day streams uh, later on. Also, honestly, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite lately, which has been my lazy day stream. Now this is me getting back in serious because the embargoes are lifting. One thing that's, uh, I guess, kind of frustrating is specifically embargoes. Like, I've got a billion games that are embargoed that I could actually record now. Uh, but because I'm kind of one of those, like, wacky hybrid, hybrid streamer uh, YouTuber people, I kind of, like, don't... I don't like to cover things uh, while they're in embargoed because that means I end up with this, like, weird situation where I have, like, 20 episodes of a game filmed before I can even stream it. And I'm like, but... People might want to watch this live, but I can't do it. I mean, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. 
Sometimes you just gotta accept that I'm not going to be able to stream everything. But I wanna.